So I really hate moving my content back a few days because they're scheduled for in advance. But this topic came across my table and I will cover it legally. Now, if you're interested in a more in detailed analysis, I'll have it on my other channel, Lawyers US or LUS, L-U-S. But let me tell you why this is illegal as hell. First of all, the Pinkertons are not reputable agency. I'm going to speak of this. Their history is very mired with breaking unions using illegal tactics, okay, I will say it, illegal tactics to achieve bullying. Um, they are definitely, you know, if you type in Pinkerton, the first thing you will see from Teen Vogue is the Pinkertons have a long, dark history of targeting workers. That's mother effing Teen Vogue, okay? <laughs> Teen Vogue. All right, let's... uh. Assume that Cannon, the guy who was approached by the agents, let's assume his story was correct, okay? Um, so Wizard of Coast is going to strongly refute the, this depiction of events, which contradicts both the report from the investigation as well as the conversation between the individual. Uh, the company also stated that under no circumstances will we, inst we instruct any employee or contracted agency to intimidate the individual. Okay, so this is what, um, so again, keep that in mind. There is two different opinions of what happened. Cannon's opinion is the agents knocked on his door, demanded he turn over all the cards from the unreleased set. He had released videos on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The agents arrived on Saturday morning he says according to wizard of the coast the company sent the investigators part of an investigation yada yada they had called him and so on so then in a canon conformed that confirms the statements he made on video and added additional context saying as soon as my wife answered the door they aggressively asked me by my full name announced themselves as the pinkerton agency which i'm very familiar with their reputation and said they were there to recover stolen goods after his wife asked them to wait outside, Cannon said they forced themselves at least partially through the door and prevented her closing the door all the way. The reason this is very, very important is that is illegal. Even the police without a warrant cannot do that. Now, if they suspect um, things are happening and so on, then maybe they can go without a warrant, but then they really need a justification of why something is urgently or somebody's urgently in danger. But um, you are not allowed, for obvious reasons, solicitors and so on, and non-police. And the fact, here's what I think about the Pinkerton agent. They're going to say some pretty dumbass things, and I'm going to, uh, if this is true, again, the canyons are alleging this is true, and this is gizmo, so I'm not trying to defame the agency. But uh, after his wife asked him to wait outside, Cannon says they forced themselves. Uh, they did eventually dial back and become more civil. Uh, at some point, the agents made his wife cry. According to Cannon, the agents continued to claim he was in possession of stolen property and said that if Cannon didn't hand over the product immediately, they would escalate the situation in local law enforcement. That is 100% a lie. Um, in my experience, and I do have a lot of friends as a, as, who are criminal attorneys, uh, even DAs, assistant DAs. In fact, one of the first jobs I applied to was to be assistant DA in uh, New York City. Didn't get the job, but that definitely would have been a great job, Batman and all. And uh, yeah, that's not correct. So this is a pseudo-police agency saying they're going to get the real police involved if you don't give us what we want. Okay, there's so many logical fallacies, right? Because if they were going to get the police involved, the police would already be involved. Wow, logic. Okay, they claim copyright infringement. God damn, they're dumb. So copyright infringement isn't you send people. So copyright infringement isn't determined by sending pseudo-police officers at your door. It's determined in court. By copyright law. And I guarantee you're all effing nerds with like glasses. And then we have to decide. Is this copyright infringement? 
And the copyright infringement doesn't make any sense in this case because he bought cards that were early, they were, they were sold a little earlier than they should have been. And this tells you how much, how early they're printing this shit, right? That the fact is in the distributor's hands much, much, even before the cards have been spoiled. Because then this guy's just spoiling them for it. Uh, and then they said they will be one to ten years in jail. Nope, that's also not correct. Those all me that's like really repeat offenders or someone doing it on like a commercial scale. This dude doesn't have a printer. He's not going in, in the basement making the cards. He didn't go to the f facility to steal it. This is a mistake, my my dudes. Like I do not know if they said this. They 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 said this without any knowledge and. Again, to my knowledge, the Pinkerton agents, right? They're not lawyers. They didn't go to no law school. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. If they did say this. Again, Wizard of Coast is going to say they're not. But Wizard of Coast is, oh, is uh, controlled by the Pinkertons, it turns out later, as we'll find out, that the Pinkertons have infiltrated Wizard of Coast. And their head of security is all Pinkerton people. <laughs> oh, my God. When I found that out, I was like, oh, my God. What, what is this company? This is a company that will send people to take your product. Uh, okay, okay, focus, focus. They also allegedly threatened this incident could result in up to $200,000 in fine. Hell no. Hell no. Copyright fines are not $200,000 plus all legal fees. And no, again, again, no, no, no. Uh, this was the first interaction, uh, but nobody was home. Cannon said in a video uploaded April 25th that the Pinkerton agents, after attempting to go to Cannon's house, Began knocking on the doors of his neighbors, uh, saying they had an appointment with the canyons. What the heck? Like these tactics, I don't know if that tactic is illegal, but I guarantee you, none of these dumbass Pinkerton people know a lick of copyright law. I've been a patent attorney for almost a decade, well, for more than a decade. I passed my patent bar when I was 21. Been a patent, uh, yeah, I've been a patent attorney for almost a decade. I worked in IP since I was 18, uh, probably since I was 16, honestly. And I have never heard of people sending Pinkerton agents for copyright infringement. That's not how this is, you know, I mean, there's a copyright office, there's a trademark office, there's a patent office. And if you feel like, oh, something is wrong, then you file a lawsuit there or you file a lawsuit. And your state or even your federal court, depending on when... Now, but this probably would be federal because it seems like it's a different place. Cannon was given a number to call, and he did so while the Pinkertons were in his home. Holy moly, guys. This is like mafiosa type of deal, right? You must call this number or we're not leaving. When he reached out, it was a coast employee said that they had attempted to call him on Friday, but because it was a via unlisted number, Cannon did not pick up. Cannon says the Wizard of Coast employee did not leave a voice message or send an email, but when they finally talked on the phone, they asked which Magic the Gathering cards he would like. Uh, I would probably say the one of one ring would be maybe fair compensation. Maybe there's a two of two ring now. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so how illegal is this? This is super illegal, guys. Holy moly. Um, yeah, uh, whew. Let me think. Um, Cannon says he is a hobbyist, not a full-time or even part-time content creator or influencer. And until the weekend, he had less than 4,000 followers on his YouTube channel. Sending bullish private investigators to his house in order to retrieve a product would be a massive overreach to a problem that is typically solved from a letter from a lawyer. Additionally, there would have been no need to ask for the physical cards back, which of the coast could have tracked the origin of the product using the foil wrappers that the cards came in on the cardboard, both of which were have meanings for tracking and distribution printed on the surface. They could have happened to anyone, and it's pretty ridiculous if these tactics were employed against a man who's literally just some guy. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll break this down in more legal context than my other channel, if you're interested. But basically, if Canon's story is true and he has you know video evidence so in my home i have video cameras everywhere right so they even have audio now i what i what's that company from called ring yes i use ring 
So if he has any evidence of this and he goes to trial, Canon's going to win a big, big verdict because this is not acceptable for any company to do to their customer. So Canon is a customer. He bought the cards legally from somebody who wanted to sell him the cards. If the person who sold the cards made a mistake, then they should have contacted Wizard of Coast and said, you know what, we made a mistake. Uh, we sold it to this customer. They should have reached out to Canon, right? They have that type of relationship. And I'm sure that their phone isn't blocked. That's what should have happened. Wizard of Coast should have reached out to the distributor. The distributor should have reached out to Canon because they have a that type of interaction. Or you fly out a representative, which would probably be cheaper than a bunch of Pinkerton agents to hire. But you know what? People got to get fed. It reminds me of gangs of New York. You got to feed your, your agency. And the worst case thing is it turns out the reason they're using Pinkerton agents all the time, this is not the first time, is that the Wizards, uh, there are other connections between Wizards of the Coast and the Pinkerton agency. Robert Klemek, who has been the director of security risk management at Hasbro for 12 years, was previously the director of supply chain security practice at Pinkerton. The current manager of global investigation is also a former Pinkerton agent. So, you know, half the people are Pinkerton agents, the other half work at, you know, Big Tobacco selling cigarettes to kids. Again, the not defamation because that's actually what a court ruled. Uh, what do you expect, guys? Half of them work at Microsoft. Well, okay, like 20% work at Microsoft, 20% work at Big Tobacco, and the rest of them are Pinkerton agents. <laughs> this is the social justice. Like, I, I don't know. If you're a social justice warrior, how do you defend this company now? I, I, I'm actually very curious to find out. Hi, guys.